Well, hello there. You want to learn how to install and play Stardew Valley mods? You've come to the right place. Let's get into it. So firstly, to be able to run these mods, you'll need to download the mods you'd like to play and the application that allows these mods to run. I will be using a site called Nexus Mods, which I would highly recommend using this site when following along, but essentially the installation of everything discussed should be the same. I will link this website in the description below. So first, we want to install Smappy. Smappy is the software which will allow us to run these mods. Going into Nexus Mods in the search bar at the top, change your search to games and search for the game Stardew Valley. Click on the game of Stardew Valley to be directed to all the available mods to download for Stardew Valley. Explore these to suit your style of play, but before downloading the mod you want to play, head back over to the search bar at the top, and with the search option of mods next to your search bar, search for Smappy. The first option should be the download for Smappy, but in the case that it may not show up, you may need to change your sort by to most downloaded. Here we want to download Smappy to install. You can read all about the program underneath the description tab, but you want to click into the files tab to download the mod. Here you'll see a list of files to download. The one that we'll be needing is under the main files heading. There are two options here and you'll want to click the manual download option. You'll be taken to a screen where it'll ask you the download type of the file. You will need an account signed up with Smappy to download this, so excuse me while I log that in. Once logged in, you'll see that there are two options to download Smappy. I'll always choose the slow download option and the mods don't need too much time to download. Then, in 5 seconds, it'll download the files. You can either save them if the window pops up, or if you're using Chrome, it'll automatically download into your downloads file. In your downloads, find this folder. It needs to be extracted out of here, and you can extract it any place you'd like, which means you are not required to extract it into the Sanju Valley folder. In this case, I extracted it onto my desktop, and once that's done, head over to the place you've extracted it and open that folder, which in my case will be on the desktop. In there, you'll see a few options to install Smappy on. Since I'm using Windows, double click on the Install on Windows application. A window will pop up advising that this will install Smappy. To continue with this, you want to type the number 1 in this window and hit Enter. Give it a moment and once it's done, this green text will appear to say that it's been installed. Now there are two ways to run Smappy to play these mods. If you'd like Steam to track your playtime hours and your achievements, you'll see a directory on the second line in green. You can copy this by right-clicking the window and selecting Mark or Control M for short. Highlight this entire line completely and hold Control C to copy it onto your clipboard. Switch over to Steam, find your Sarju Valley game, right-click it and then select Properties. In the general window, you'll have a section on the bottom that says Launch Options. The directory you just copied needs to be pasted here, so click on the empty bar here and press Ctrl V to paste, if you're using Windows. This directory essentially tells Steam to read Smappy instead of the normal Stardew Valley folder so that the mods can be read. To see if this works correctly, close this window and hit play on Steam. A Smappy window should show up as it runs your mods. If it does this and continues into Sanju Valley, you've successfully installed Smappy. Now in the case you don't have Steam or you don't want to use it, there is a different way to open Smappy. Simply find where your Sanju Valley game is saved. In my case, it is saved in my Steam folder, which is Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Sanju Valley. In here, you should see that there are two application files. The one that's titled Sanju Modding API is Smappy. Simply double click this and Smappy should pop up. Now for the fun part, installing your mods. Head back into Nexus Mods and on the top from our previous demonstration, click on Stardew Valley here. It'll take you to the front page of all the mods for Stardew Valley, or you can go back into the search bar, select games and type in Stardew Valley. For this demonstration, I'll be installing the mod Automate, which is one of my favorite mods for Stardew Valley. I will be typing automate into the search bar, but select any mod that you want to download and click into files. Just like with installing Smappy, we want to install the main file required to play this mod. Under the files tab, the main files will be at the very top. Click on the manual download option here. Now this pop-up is very normal. 
This pop-up will tell you that in order to play this mod, there are other mods required to be installed, and the link to these mods will be supplied. Since we already have Smap installed, we know that installing and playing this mod will be fine. But here is an example of a mod that will have a list of mods required to play it. An all-time popular mod called Sardew Valley Expanded, which I'm currently playing on my Twitch stream, requires a few mods to install before playing it. Clicking on the mod, then clicking in files and clicking manual download will show you this pop-up again with the mods required to play the mod. You'll need to install these and the expanded mod to be able to play this mod. So let's head back into how to install these mods. I'm going to head back into the automate mod, but because we have Smappy installed, we can click download here. And then from here, we'll click slow download. Once this folder is saved on your computer, you'll want to extract it into your mods folder, which Smappy has already created for you. So find this downloaded mod file, right click it and extract it into your Sardew Valley folder. For most people, it'll be your computer, program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, and Sardew Valley. In your Sardew Valley folder, you should see a folder called Mods. This is where all your mods should be extracted into. Select the Mods folder and continue the extraction. A window should pop up of this mod installed into your mod folder. I'm going to try another mod to show the installation again. I'll be installing the mod NPC locations that shows the location of all the NPCs at the time of checking your map. So once again, select the mod, click on the file, click on the files tab, manually download the main file. Be sure to install any mod required to play your mod. In this case, it will be Smappy, which is already installed. Select slow download and once installed, find the folder location of this file on your computer. Extract this file into your mods folder, which for Steam users should be Steam, Steam app, common, Stardew Valley, and then select in the mods folder for this folder to be extracted into. And that's it. To see if this has worked correctly, play Stardew Valley through Steam, wait for the Smappy window to appear and test if it works. That Smappy window will also tell you the mods that it's trying to run. But testing out the mods through one of your saves is a good way to find out if you've done it correctly. I selected a co-op farm where these mods were previously used, and I want to test out the automate mod, which will use items in a nearby chest to process the items into a nearby machine, such as a furnace or a keg. In this shed, I know that I have some furnaces that are already trying to pick up auras from a nearby chest. Replacing this furnace will show you that the automate mod is working. I also then check my map to see if the NPC location mod is working. And as you can see, it is currently working and show me where every NPC in Pelican Town is currently at. That is all we need to do for most mods, but some mods require you to manually change files, such as visual mods. So I will show you how to do those if there are more steps required to install them. One of my other favorite mods suggested in stream is yet another dog mod, which replaces the skin of your dogs into another dog option from a selection of poppers. You'll need to download and extract the main file like we had previously done by extracting it into your mods folder. Once downloading and extracting the main file for yet another dog mod, you can check this folder to view the dogs available in the assets folder. Along with this mod, you'll need to install a prerequisite mod called Content Patcher. Unfortunately, when downloading the main file of yet another dog mod, there was no pop-up advising of this prerequisite, so be sure to read the description of the mods you'd like to download, as without their prerequisites, the mods cannot be played, and Smappy will advise of this. Once you have downloaded and extracted Content Patcher into your mods folder, head back into yet another dog mod and click back into the file tab in Nexus Mods. Below the main files is optional files, this is the files that will manually replace your original Stardew Valley dog skins. There are a lot of options to choose from, but for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead with the Pomeranian option because I freaking love Pomeranians. Now, extracting these doggo options are not required to be saved into your mod folder like we have previously done. We only need the files within them, meaning that you don't need to extract them into your mods folder, but if you don't trust yourself, extracting them into the mods folder is fine. Smappy will just advise you that these extractor files are not readable mods and because it doesn't need to read them, it will ignore them and it shouldn't interrupt any gameplay. If you do believe that after completing these steps that the doggo mods may have interrupted Smappy, save these optional files someplace else like your desktop. 
So select a dog, download it the normal way by doing the manual download, then the slow download option, and then extract these files once downloaded either into your mods folder or someplace else like your desktop. As mentioned, I went ahead and selected the small black Pomeranian option. There should be a dog.xmb file and a photo of the dog. The xmb file is the file we need to replace in Stardew Valley. So head on back into your Stardew Valley folder, which for Steam users, it's in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Stardew Valley. There is a content folder at the very top. This folder contains data that is used in the original Stardew Valley game. In here, there is an animals folder with a list of animals in the game. Here you should see that there are three dog files named dog, dog1, and dog2. These are in correspondence of the dogs that you can select when starting a game, as there are three dog options and three cat options. We essentially want to replace one of these dog files with one of the downloaded dog files from the yet another dog mod. As a backup, I will suggest cutting the first dog.xmb file and pasting this file someplace else. I created a dog backup folder on my desktop, and then I right clicked and cut the first dog.xmb file in the contents folder and pasted it in this desktop backup folder. From here, head back into where you extracted your dog file, which in my case, I extracted them into my mods folder. Right click and copy the dog xmb file here, then paste it in the Stardew contents animals folder. Just remember, as there are three dog options, you can replace the other two dog files with any other dog from this mod. Just be sure to name the next two dogs as dog1.xmb as one word and dog2.xmb as one word. Be sure to cut the original Stardew Valley XMB files into your backup folder on your desktop in case you want to bring back the originals or in case something doesn't go right. Now, we need the mod to identify what the dog looks like. In the same place your dog.xmb file was saved, find the .png attached with it. This picture will show Smappy what the dog should look like. You'll need to copy the exact name of this file, so highlight the whole name and copy it. Now locate your Stardew Valley folder again, so for Steam users, it's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Stardew Valley. In here, head into the mods folder and find the yet another dogs folder, which would have been saved under the name Space Sheep Captains Yet Another Dog Mod. There you should find a JSON file named Content. Double click it to open with Notepad or right click the file and open it with Notepad. Now you should have three paragraphs and each target should say dog, dog1 and dog2. This is where we need to tell the mod where to find the graphic look of the dog. I have highlighted the text here that we will be replacing with the text we have just copied. So let's say that the first dog.xmb file was changed. Replace the text here with the text you just copied. Make sure that .png is right after this title as I have here. Do not change the format of anything else here and be sure to press file and save on this look before loading up Stardew Valley. I joined one of my Stardew Valley farms and here it is, I have my Pomeranian. This is the Pomeranian option that replaced the first dog.xmb. So this is the Pomeranian that would have replaced the first doggo option I picked at the start of the game. And that is pretty much everything that I've done to install Stardew Valley mods. Be sure to note the last time that mod was updated because anything before December of 2020 might not be compatible with your current Stardew Valley, so be sure that it's been recently updated. As always, if you want to support the channel, leaving a like will greatly support the channel, and if you want to see more Stardew Valley videos, why not consider subscribing? If you've got any questions, you're more than welcome to comment down below because I reply to every comment. My socials are down in the description, and if you want to see me live, it's twitch.tv forward slash fuzzerino. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you next time. Take care.